So everyone is now thirsting for leadership from the south and they find Amrev ready. What are the what are the hearts and what are the um, challenges? Uh, there was the operations. Yeah. There was the UHC. There was the MDGs. Yes. There was so. What are the hearts have you had now to keep wearing? And yeah. what are the challenges that have come with this new position o over time? Yeah. Um, even you know in, in this time that we are now living in. So. If you look back, you know, what we said, mm. AMREF had its own challenges, mm -hmm. internal operational challenges. Mm. So as we are sorting out, as we are bringing out this voice on UHC, mm -hmm. I'm also trying to fix inside. Mm. And I think that's a story that will be written, mm. because I will write. Mm. Because it had to have very difficult decisions mm. about people, for example. Mm. You know, people had been there and were set in their ways, and mm. therefore when you want to change systems, mm. they say, no, we always did it this way, you mm. can't change it. Mm. So you have to, there were decisions about people. Mm. Some people had to leave. Mm. There were decisions about how we plan. Mm. We had to change the way we plan. Mm. We could no longer plan through forecasting. We had mm. to plan with reality. Mm. So if a country, Tanzania, Ethiopia, wherever is doing their budget, mm. we have to say you only budget with what you have, mm. only signed grants. Mm. If signed grants means that mm. you have money in the bank. Mm. If you plan with money that's possible, mm. then that means you plan with costs mm. that have to be paid. Because mm. you're saying, we'll win this, mm. so let's employ three more people. Mm. What about if you don't win that? Mm. These people have to be paid. Mm. So it changed, it started to change our financial model. Mm. We started to reduce costs. We reduced mm. costs significantly. Mm. When I came in, we were probably losing 7% of every dollar. Whoa. We brought that down to 5 to 2 Two mm. to one percent now mm. is zero, mm. but it's been mm. you know. Mm. On the other side, we are also working with donors to say mm. we can operate like this. Mm. You have to increase your our indirect costs as mm. well. So mm. we've kind of it's both mm. sides: increase mm. the indirect recovery, mm. reduce expenditure mm. until you meet somewhere. Mm. Knowing mm. very well mm. that the NGO, mm. the purpose of the NGO is to break even. Mm. It's not to make money; yeah. it's to break even. Yeah. Yeah. But then, because we had this challenge mm. of bringing down our overhead to match our cost, mm. as we bring that down, mm. we had to look for other sources of money. Mm. So we created enterprises. Mm. So we say, where else can we find our own money? Mm. Now, the Amre Flying Doctors, mm -hmm. which was a department of Sir Michael Wood starting with the aircraft, mm. outreach now has reduced. Mm. Countries have better infrastructure. Mm. You don't need to fly now anymore to Mandera. You mm. can drive. Mm. You know, the roads are getting better. Yeah. There are also devolution mm. in other countries. Mm. They are training their own doctors. You mm. no longer need to fly to Ethiopia. They mm. have surgeons. Mm. What are the aircraft doing? Mm. Now they are less and less busy. Mm. Okay? Mm. So what do you do? Mm -hmm. Take these assets, mm. create a unit called mm. Amra Flying Doctors, mm. which is now a business unit, mm. give them the mandate mm. to commercialize the aircraft, mm. and say now, mm. because we have this aircraft, mm. if Maxi needs comfort, that mm. if you go to Uganda mm. and you have a, an accident mm. and you need to be evacuated, mm. you can actually be evacuated for free, Quick. therefore pay mm. some money, mm. $20 a year, mm. and you always have the peace of mind mm. uh, that actually you can be evacuated mm. if you need to be evacuated, mm. if you had a, a problem, mm. and um, you pay $20, $30, mm. depending mm. on where you are, mm. that money that gets paid mm. now runs mm. the activities, mm. okay? Mm. Because not everyone who pays the 20 will mm. need the aircraft, will use it, yeah. okay? Mm. So we start to use the insurance model mm. to cross-subsidize. Mm. And out of that, the money that remains <laughs> is actually used to run mm. the activities, mm. and some of it comes to mm. the mother NGO mm. to cover the, mm. the gap. Your insurance so, background is coming to play Exactly. Here. So we yeah. start to create enterprises. Mm. So I'm reflying doctors now, which people know, mm. which sells Maisha cards, mm -hmm. which is air evacuation cover, mm has become a, a donor, mm. it's a subsidiary mm. of AMREF, mm. and all its surpluses mm. come into AMREF. Mm. So we mm. fully own that. Mm. We have now expanded the fleet. We mm. are evacuating people to Europe. Mm. During COVID, mm. we've evacuated more than 400 COVID patients across the continent. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And we are evacuating them not only to Nairobi, but mm. also into Europe and their other places. Mm. Okay. Mm. So this is what we are doing. So you create enterprise, support mm. the gap, mm. and you also reduce your costs mm. and also increase your recovery. Mm. So we sorted AMREF mm. operationally. Mm. But at the same time, mm. you need a certain uh, level of revenue mm. to increase the money you have to run the organization. Mm. Our visibility has become a critical part mm. of growth. Mm. Now because globally we've been more visible, mm. locally we've been more visible, mm. we've had governments now coming to us saying we want to work with you. Mm. You know, the government of Kenya came the other day and said, we want to work with you to build 19 facilities in the slum areas in Nairobi, and here's a billion shillings mm. for you to actually see that operation exactly through. That, yeah. that 
mm. has become the mm. order of the day. Mm. And Amrev now has grown. When I came in, we are, I think, $194 million. Mm. We, this year, we are going to close at $150 million mm. as a new mm. expenditure. Mm. So mm. the visibility has been mm. part of that journey, mm. being mm. more mm. thought leaders. Mm. We started mm. conferencing mm. that brings people together, mm. not only to see our work, but to present their work. It's a decade for action. Say that again. It's a decade for action. Not a night. A commitment to action. Yeah, yeah. A commitment to action. Yeah. Oh. It's a decade for action. Yeah. It's a senior collection. It's a senior collection. The language of the action. The language of the action. to mm, get where we are. Mm, mm, yes. mm. And then the pandemic hit. Then the pandemic hit. During your tenure. <laughs> exactly. And the pandemic hit. Yeah. And before the pandemic hit, yeah. we started talking about the role of Africa's journey in doing its own work. Yeah. And because of this, I get appointed as a board member of Africa CDC. Right. Africa CDC, Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, yeah. is an instrument of Africa Union. Yeah. It is made up of board members who are ministers from across the continent. Mm. But then I get brought into that mm. as a board member. Okay. And then I pick that role, mm. so I'm playing that role. Mm. Then COVID hits, mm. and my voice again comes up mm. on COVID. Mm. And I start talking on behalf of not only Kenya, mm. but, but the, the continent. Yeah. And uh, also now my voice gets global on mm. equity, vaccines, mm. and all these things. Mm. And I get appointed now to the Ramaphosa Commission mm. for COVID-19 for the continent. So I'm now a commissioner. For which, the, is, which is m m more recent. More recent. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Just a month ago, yeah. as a commissioner of the Africa COVID-19 mm. Commission mm. by Ramaphosa. Yeah. Yeah. Who is chairing that commission? Yeah. Then now you know the interest continues not only on myself but also on myself. So yeah. and that has been a great success in our work. Yeah. Has been a great success in our advocacy, our voice. Yeah. And I think it all stems down from the fact that we are truly community centered. Yeah. I am community centered. Yeah. And we present the authentic voice of communities. Yeah. Again, it's a global health that is heavily colonized yeah. from the north. Yeah. So everyone is now thirsting for leadership from the south, and they find Amref ready. They find Amref ready. Yes. Well, if you are to look forward mm. to, to, to you know, your next five, your next 10, your next 15 years, mm. where, where, <laughs> with, with how you've come and what, this because this is all super exciting, and where mm. you are, you're sort of like at the, is, your journey is only, 
getting better and better and better.